we had some really good questions inside of class when we were lecturing on battery sizing and how that ties into the SAM simulation uh, component for batteries. So right now I'm showing you a screen capture of um, the battery sizing for SAM uh, set at, I think it's default lithium ion, uh, and in the default there's a specify uh, the desired bank size and SAM will then adjust to fit a uh, to meet the nominal voltage required for the system as well as the desired uh, power, the energy demanded from the capacity of the battery bank. So here we've got a lithium ion battery. Down below you see a nominal bank capacity of about 3 kilowatt hours, just above that and the bank voltage is going to be higher than 12, it's going to be 14.4 for the lithium ion. Let's flip that and instead change the chemistry to the uh, preferred flooded lead acid battery. Uh, that's what we're looking at right here. Again, the bank size is the same, but the voltage properties, the nominal voltage in any one cell, there are actually going to be three cells to make up six volts inside of this guy, are going to be different than the lithium ion. So I'm going to see a nominal bank capacity a little higher than that that I saw for the lithium ion in the lead acid, and my bank voltage is going to be uh, 12 volts. Okay, So if I were to do that, we have to understand that when the s pricing, the costing of a battery bank goes out, the default in SAM is aligned with the unit cost, and that would be dollars per kilowatt hour nominal bank capacity delivered. So if, these be, if both of these systems, whether it's lead acid flooded or lithium ion, if they are both approximately three kilowatt hours and they're priced at 500 or 600 dollars per kilowatt hour, you're going to have a very similar pricing for the batteries, which again is saying that the SAM itself does not couple the actual price, the, 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 the market price with the performance of the system. However, you can tie the performance of the system to like a default unit cost. So you'd have to modify the unit cost to in this particular version. Now let's look at where I think that uh, people can get a little bit tripped up, which is if you were to specify the cells, this is what it's boxed in green right now, specify the cells with uh, 10 cells in series, 15 in parallel, and the nominal bank capacity suddenly is 6 kilowatt hours for a flooded lead acid battery. The nominal bank volt bank, the nominal bank voltage is 20 volts, okay? So these 6 kilowatt hours will go into the costing, it will go into the system costs. Let's see how that looks. They're right here. So here I've got system costs of 6 kilowatt hours DC times $600 per kilowatt hour DC gives me a $3600 system cost for the battery bank. Um, I've actually just picked out the default residential photovoltaic system uh, for comparison. Let's flip back to our settings and instead of ha we'll still have 10 cells in series, 15 in parallel with the lithium ion. So we've changed the chemistry, we've changed the intrinsic chemistry of the system and in doing so we change the voltage to not being 20 volts but being 36 volts and the nominal bank capacity is actually much, much lower uh, than 6 kilowatt hours at 1.215. So that's, that 1.215 is going to go into the system costs. Let's look at that. And it's going to give us right here a 1.2 kilowatt system times $600 per kilowatt hour. And so it will appear that a, a lithium ion battery, which we know are more expensive than a lead acid battery, but it would appear that a lithium ion battery is less expensive than the comparable lead acid battery that was $3,600. But notice how the unit cost is the same. The unit cost for a lithium ion battery is going to be higher than the unit cost for a lead acid battery. And that's a little bit of research that everybody should do. I'm using a slightly older version of SAM, like a, a, a quarter of a year older, and I've got $600 per kilowatt hour. Uh, those of you who have the default now might have $500 per kilowatt hour. So those things are trying to capture the market trend for the average of all batteries, but uh, you will need to do a little bit of research to find out what would be a reasonable value for your 
choice of either a lithium ion battery or a flooded lead acid battery. Again, the flooded lead acid batteries are the default uh, for, you know, I mean, uh, not in SAM, but they are the, the kind of the L16 flooded lead acid batteries are very common in the industry. And the newer lithium ion batteries tend to get used for special purposes, such as uh, uh, charging car stations and if you were using a battery to sell electric services to the grid ancillary services such as uh, frequency regulation. All right. All right. Thanks so much for your time, folks. Good luck.